when a conspiracy theory isn't true, if it catches on, it speaks to the anxieties and experiences of the people who believe and repeat it. Um, it's a <laughs> form of folklore. It still tells you something about, you know, the, the sort of mental space we live in. Um, and, it, and it can be rooted in, in real problems. Sometimes it's rooted in other things. And then the other, you know, big theme is that it's not limited to the fringes, um, you know, that it's all, it has always been at the heart of, of power, that, you know, the people atop the state and other powerful institutions um, have, you know, they also have conspiracy theories about um, outsiders, about people lower than them on the right. totem pole, and sometimes just from another wing of the totem pole, which is right. sort of Trump versus the deep state thing. Um, so, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, and, and I kind of talk about five you know, archetypal conspiracy narratives in practice, they often get mixed up together, you know, but there's the enemy above is what people think of when they hear the phrase conspiracy theory, right. conspiracies in the government, big corporations, secret societies that allegedly control the government and big corporations, that sort of thing. Enemy below is the fear of, um, of conspiracies to overturn the social order from, you know, the underclass or just anyone sort of below you, it doesn't have to be the underclass, quote unquote. Um, anyone below you in this sort of social totem pole. Um, and I get into, um, in the book about the antebellum era, the, the uh, slave owners having conspiracy theory, uh, having basically periodic pan slave panics where they were convinced that there was a plot afoot far more often than there was. Um, and then they having echoes many times long after, the, I mean, like, even with us recently, some of the conspiracy theories about, you know, the, the riots um, that we just saw saw a couple uh, years ago um enemy outside is the fear of the um the forces gathered outside the uh, the community's gates that wants to um uh, insidiously take over and um turn you into some version of them um there's the enemy within which is the opposite of that there's the, the, the sort of classic pod people fear that you know the, the folks that look like look like you are in fact um, agents of some other force. I mean, the classic example there is the Salem witch trials, um, mm -hmm. but of course there have been many since then. And then the fifth is the idea of the benevolent conspiracy, which is a secret um, cabal working to make uh, the world better, uh, which is often not included in these discussions, but there's a lot of stuff in um, in uh, you know new age literature about you know the Rosicrucians or folks like that, you know, working to bring us to our higher selves, America having, having a secret destiny, and ultimately, I mean, lots of religion functions this way.